I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got this hangman and it's with the lovers. Now the hangman, it shows that you could have been at a crossroads. Only with two option type of crossroads, meaning in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could have found yourself wanting to do something, but you had no idea what it is or how to do it. So if that happens, it could have been a sign that you should have stopped, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations people or person or things because it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of a sacrifice that you made it would have opened up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of overall it should have been a thoughtful reflective time especially if you were willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own best interest by being willing to change. Now, it's with the Lover's card, which is actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. So it's possible when this card appears that you could be feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing, but your head is telling you another. But the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Because some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time. And that's either fear or love. But when you can choose, it's saying it's safe to choose love when you get the lover's card in the reading. Because it's a time when love is brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So, the hangman clarified by the lovers for your recent past energy between you and your person. Now, the message that I'm getting is that, yeah, you could have been or you're still dealing with this person and... You find this song um, to be a, a, a deep love with the lover's card here. It's the strength of two. It's, you feel like you, you feel like it or there, since this is the recent past energy, at that time you felt like it was a deep partnership, um, a union, a coming together. The strength of two, that's what you get with the lover's card. So, um, you or your person, or both of you, could have been, could, could have felt like you were falling in love. Lover's card is very powerful. <clears throat> or maybe you felt like you had a lot of love for your person. Um, but um, this person or the connection left you confused. Yeah, you were stuck in your head about something your person said, something your person did, or something that happened in the connection. And you weren't sure which way to go, or what to say, or what to do. Yeah, but you found this connection to be a deep, deep love. Yeah, this person, you could have felt like they they, they were your soulmate. And the lover's card could also indicate a twin flame. But you, you, you're confused about this person. Yeah, something happened. And you're just, you're not sure what to do. But that's a recent past energy for you and your person. Why don't we move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Five of Swords, and it's with the Nine of Cups. Now the Five of Swords, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings about life. 
or maybe a person or a few people in particular. Now, don't ignore these feelings, but make sure you don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either. Because this could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close intimate relationships with your friends or with your lover. So it's important to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. Yeah, when you get the Five of Swords, it's important to pick your battles. Now, it's with the Nine of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's very often known as the Wish Card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. Yeah. The appearance of this card is about happiness, good things to come. It usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. So coming up, Virgo, Five of Swords, clarified by this Nine of Cups. Yeah, what I'm getting is that someone is upset, very upset, because Five of Swords, If you, I don't know if you can see the details of the picture. Five of Swords is a card above the word present. This man, he's running around with two swords in his hand. He's got three on the ground. He'll pick them up and use them if he has to. There were people sitting there at that fire that you see, but when they got a glimpse of this person with the two swords in his hand, they all scrammed. I don't know if you can see the, the details of this person's face, but yeah, he's very, very angry. It looks like he could be blowing smoke out of his nose and his ears at any time. <clears throat> blowing smoke or steam. Yeah, so somebody's angry, and there could be a fight coming up. Or somebody's ready to fight, you or your person could be. Some type of conflict. It could have something to do with why, with why you were so confused. Maybe it's time to get to, to the bottom of it. Or you're ready to get to the bottom of it. And it's bringing about some fury. But it's with the Nine of Cups. So it looks like no matter what happens, you are this person's wish come true. Because the Nine of Cups is it's about a wish coming true. You're this person's wish. So no matter what happens, they're still going to be in it to win it. No matter what kind of fight this is. This person has deep emotions for you. They feel blessed and satisfied to have you, to know you. This person also has a very strong desire for you. That's what you get with the Nine of Cups. So, we move on over and take a look and see what the challenge is. We have this Ace of Wands and it's with the Knight of Cups. Now, with the Ace of Wands, it does indicate new beginnings and they're very positive ones. When you get the Ace of Wands, very positive. It could be in the area of accomplishments. It could be related to work, career, family, or romance. So if you're having a difficult time, just know that things are about to get better very soon. This card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a really, really good cause. And I say very soon because if you see the Ace of Wands, it's a card above the word challenge. It looks like it's sitting sitting above the clouds, but no, it's actually burst above the clouds. Really powerful, strong, and fast. So things things turn around for the better, or things get better very soon. 
you could be feeling really energetic and positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. These tells you that now is a good time to start something new. Now, it's with this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is optimistic. Really good card to see in, see in a reading. Now, this one comes with some type of message. It's a message bearer. Usually, they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. The Knight of Cups tells you that things are going to be going well. And you're likely to be feeling charged up and ready for action. Yeah, this card, it often means good news, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. So, some really good news is headed your way very soon. So, your challenge, Virgo, Ace of Wands clarified by this Knight of Cups. The message that I'm getting for a lot of you is that your person could be rushing towards you or you want to rush towards them. That's what the Knight of Cups does. And it rushes in with... Um, with talk, communication, being very romantic and sensitive. Um, you could be wanting a new beginning, or they, your person could be wanting a fresh new start in the connection, um, just to clear out any um, negative energy, or clear out the confusion that the two of you experienced with this recent past energy. Yeah, and um, they're probably thinking this would alleviate the anger and frustration that either you or them felt with this Five of Swords showing up in your reading. So someone is rushing in or wanting to rush in. This, this could be you or your person. Yeah, wanting a fresh new start. It's just like let's let's give this another try. Let's let's take two. Cut it and take two. Let's let's get this right and do it all over again and have a new beginning. Yeah, there's a lot of passion here between you and your person because the wands can be about a lot of passion. So yeah, somebody's rushing in. With this Knight of Cups being very romantic and sensitive. The Knight of Cups also comes in to sweep you off your feet. So, this is good. Like I said, your person, they have very strong desire for you. And they do see you as their Nine of Cups. They see you as a wish come true. So, it just looks like there was some conflict that left you confused. But it looks like it could be going in a, in a better direction. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Page of Pentacles. And it's with the Four of Cups. Now, the Page of Pentacles can be a card about boredom. In some way, you may be tempted to say or do things or shake things and people up for a little bit of excitement. But you got to rethink the impulse. Find a better use of your energy. We all know excitement. It can be created. This Page of Pentacles is actually a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished because it gives you backbone. It gives you focus and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. Now, so the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now, count your many blessings. And not to worry too much about what could be, because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure you're counting your blessings, and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put your focus. Where It has to do with where you put your focus. 
So be sure to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So your outcome, Page of Pentacles and Four of Cups. So yeah, your person is is regretful that they um, caused you confusion. Because the Four of Cups can be about um, having regret. The Four of Cups, the card below the word outcome. Yeah, and just wishing things were different. In which the person is wishing that it never happened. Whatever it is that they caused confusion about in this conflict or fight that the two of you looks like you had with the Five of Swords showing up here. They regret all of that happened. But the good thing about it is with the Page of Pentacles clarified by the Four of Cups, I'm getting that you're both getting over it. Yeah. Page of Cups is about being bored. It could be about some type of boredom. So you're bored, you're over with what happened, and your person is, is trying to get over it too. But they do have regrets that they hurt you or they said some things that they didn't mean, and it caused a big fight. But you're getting over it, and it looks like that's what they're working on trying to do. Yeah, it's kind of like a last year's news. Yeah. So, that is the reading that I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates, as you know, general readings. They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Please join me for the next Virgo reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can, yes, they can be reversed. They can be switched. You could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend of yours, a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday or holidays. I'm wishing all of you Happy New Year's. I'm wishing the best of 2021 for all of you. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.